I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of 1 Kings, chapter 16. So let's focus on several verses here at the beginning, starting with verse 7. And also the word of the Lord came by the prophet Jehu, the son of Hanani, against Baasha and his house, because of all the evil that he did in the sight of the Lord, in provoking him to anger with the work of his hands, in being like the house of Jeroboam, and because he killed them. Now look at 1 Kings 16, verses 12 and 13. Thus Zimri destroyed the household of Baasha, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke against Baasha by Jehu the prophet, for all the sins of Elah his son, by which they sinned and by which they made Israel sin in provoking the Lord God of Israel to anger with their idols. 1 Kings 16, verses 18 and 19. And it happened when Zimri saw that the city was taken, that he went into the citadel of the king's house, and he burned the king's house down upon himself with fire, and he died because of the sins which he had committed in doing evil in the sight of the Lord, in walking in the way of Jeroboam and in his sin. What about 1 Kings 16, 25 and 26? Omri did evil in the eyes of the Lord, and he did worse than all who were before him. For he walked in all of the ways of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, and in his sin by which he made Israel sin, provoking the Lord God of Israel to anger with their idols. And now check out 1 Kings 16, verse 30. And now Ahab, the son of Omri, became king over Israel. And Ahab, the son of Omri, did evil in the sight of the Lord more than all before him. So what is our takeaway here? Well, our takeaway here is simple. Instability. Instability within a nation is the sign of a nation without a moral compass. Look at our nation today. If we focus too much on the narrative of each king's reign, we're going to conclude that their instability is caused by uh, choosing the wrong cabinet members or drunken diversions, short-sightedness, or the foolishness of trivial pursuits, or the downside of bad diplomatic alliances. But the message that God is blasting like a tornado warning through his prophet is that all instability is caused by idolatry. And idolatry, by the way, is simply stepping away from God's word and trusting another source to provide guidance and to establish stability. Psalm chapter 1, verses 1 and 2 speaks of it very clearly. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. Your first step away from the Bible is your first step toward idolatry. Not listening to the counsel of God, but listening to the counsel of the ungodly. Nor who stands in the path of sinners, nor who sits in the seat of of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, the Bible, and in his law he meditates, thinks about these things day and night. And every nation who trusts in the word of the Lord finds stability. Those who walk away from it walk straight into instability. But even nations founded on the word of God will lose their stability if they depart from the word. So, let's break it down to the pedestrian level. That's you and me. Because a nation is the sum of its individual citizens. If we desire to see our nation return to stability, we must personally return to the Lord, each individual, by seeking His Word. And then we should obey it and plead with others to join us. Why is that? Because revival is not leveraged from stages or platforms, even in churches. Revival begins at the personal level, you and me, pursuing the written word so that we can be prepared and willing to share the living word, Jesus, with a lost and a dying world. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. You know, Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And if you're being ministered to through the daily teaching of Groundworks Ministries, 
and you'd like to help us lead God's people back to the Bible, would you consider donating to Groundworks Ministries today? Because we need your support now more than ever. Donating is secure and it's easy at our website. So check us out at groundworksministries.com.